Well, welcome uh, back to Good Day Big Bear. I'm John Wells. And I'm Dan Bathurst. And we're with Exit Realty here in Big Bear Lake, California, bringing our weekly stat update. Good morning, Dan. Important. Morning, John. How are you? <laughs> it's a little snowy out today. I love the way they scrape it all the way to the ice. Yeah, all the way to the ice. Take, take the, take the, sometimes I think it's kind of an oxymoron. You know, let's plow so we can slide more. You know? <laughs> it certainly I kind of is. Like riding in that little thin layer. Of, yeah, yeah. You know, it's kind of, kind of exciting. Wonderful. Feels like you're sledding or something. But it's really pretty. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah still got to go. Is. It's still beautiful, no we, matter what. You know? Even though the roads are slippery, the, the market's <laughs> not. We, we've had a good a good run so far the in January. We are. January 28th today, uh, and so far month to date, uh, retail sales. Yes. Uh, which, for those of you that don't know what we're talking about, is regular John Doe selling yeah. to Mary Doe right. or right. what exactly. have you. It's a normal, and new a normal home sale. Right, right, right. Are very strong this year. It's it's nice to see that the market is, I mean, we are absolutely taking off where we left off last year, yeah. and things are really moving, uh, as you say, but, but the good thing is, is we're eliminating those foreclosures and short sales. I mean, right. we know that the people are still out there that need yep. to do that, and we are full of advice on that one as far as <laughs> a little, uh, what we're hearing, and are you how saying we're full of it? Well, yeah, to some little, degree. You know. <laughs> last year, uh, 2012, on this date, we'd had 25 retail residential sales and four of them were cash. Yeah. This year so far we're at 44 Which is closed great, sales great by January jump. 28th great and jump. eight of those are cash. Yeah. And our price per square foot is pretty close to what it was last year. We were 163 or 165 a foot last year. We're 163 this year. Which is stable. I mean, that, and, mm -hmm. and, and as we've talked, you know, this market is not going to really increase in in the uh, uh, square yeah. footage range. Um, we're, we're probably going to, by the end of, they're, they're predicting somewhere by mm -hmm. the end of uh, 2014, 15 at the latest probably the market's going to move about three percent mm -hmm. yeah. so you're not you're not looking at a uh, a big jump but the yep. good thing is is the lenders are, are becoming aware that it is this is the market mm -hmm. so they are and and we're looking close to the bottom mm -hmm. you know I, our lower end you notice is right. in, in that hundred to two hundred thousand right. range is the, is the market that's really moving yeah we're not the Malibu market no uh, <laughs> even though we have it <laughs> we have, we have, uh, yes we had a 1.1 $1 .1 million dollar closing yeah. last week mm -hmm. uh, which is very interesting and another thing that's very interesting in the retail side of it is they're still coming in at 96 percent of list price yes so somebody's getting really good at, at pricing homes to start with well I think the market and, uh, and the people out there realize that it is it is a tough market mm -hmm. you know no matter what you, you the the bubble dream is over with and I think people are coming to the realization Ooh, that, that bubble is not coming back mm -hmm. and so we're we're back in the real world and if you look as as we projected and, and looked in the past uh, when you did your breakdown over the, the, the year, last, uh, last 10, 10 years, years or whatever right. the case may be, um, that this was our market. This was mm -hmm. the real market, you know, so we're back to reality. Mm -hmm. and we're back to what your house is really worth and, you know, as, as hard as that is to take, mm -hmm. um, it, it is what it is. And I think we're seeing people start to understand that mm -hmm. as, as they list more now. I think everybody's getting better at, at knowing where they're at, especially in the foreclosures and short sales in foreclosures closures or was it short sales we were at a hundred and four percent of list price yes so they're actually selling for more multiple list than what the list multiple are. offers I'm sorry yeah. right so that is occurring a lot more now we, we saw that a lot at the very end mm -hmm. of the year uh, in 2012 and 2013 is obviously going to start right. out the same way because people want that price range right and foreclosures how are we looking on those last week uh, foreclosures I we were, we had uh, four Okay, uh, which, month today, uh, but we only had one. Uh, that was month today, but we had one, one for this cash. last week. For uh, one was for cash. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, he watches these closer than I do. So. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm the stat he's, guy. He's the stat guy. I'm the stat but, guy. He's uh, the boss guy. But the, the good thing is, is I mean, and and that's even up uh, mm -hmm. at 139 per square foot now compared to what it was at 105 and right. 96, and um, so even in the foreclosure range mm -hmm. there, um, and I'll, and I'll get into this uh, more as time goes on here but uh, what we're seeing is is in some of these uh, GSEs the the um, GSE uh, is our government uh, yeah uh-huh <laughs> government sponsored <laughs> entities. entities yeah so that you be your Fannie Mae <laughs> you know, and you know, Freddie Mac and, uh, and all those types um, of things yes and but what what is happening is, is they're starting to govern their own uh, appraisals mm -hmm. and so we're seeing more concept. and more of that and as I get a little more educated on it 
um, I'll try to explain what's going on. Mm -hmm. What they're ba basically trying to raise the market value. That's like me trying to sell you something and me verifying what the price is. It's exactly what's going on, and uh, that's that's probably as well put as it can be. So, <laughs> uh, and and it's just now being. Um, brought to the public eye and uh, you know we we do read a lot of our magazines mm -hmm. we keep keep on top of the information mm -hmm. that comes in stuff. and it is a lot of information mm -hmm. and it changes constantly um, you have to always remember that this market when it started nobody was ever in this situation before short sales so, three years ago didn't exist exactly yes. and we're, we're kind of all learning together mm -hmm. at the same time but I think the learning phase is over and now they're fine-tuning everything mm -hmm. and, and I and you know uh, very cooperative with short sales very cooperative with uh, foreclosures and the banks totally mm -hmm. want, want us to do more short sales than foreclosure classic example I know you're gonna get into short sale stats here in just a second but I just went through and I bought a short sale and yes. you know we've we've had lots of clients and we've worked with them on the on the client side and it's easy it's pretty easy to say it's okay it's yeah. all right hang in there be patient it'll be okay yeah. but as a principal and it is yeah <laughs> yes and it, and, and it keeps oh. coming back to bite you you know yes. uh, and and patience is a virtue right I mean, down to the last minute. day yes. things could have changed exactly uh, so exactly. you have to be emotionally prepared for one of those it, it, it is wearing yes for, for a lack of better words it is a wearing uh -huh. situation but in the long run was it worth it oh absolutely absolutely I because I know what the appraisal was on this house three years ago and when they took the loan out and it was it was a bargain I am thrilled and I'm sure the the difference of what I got the house when I calmed down a little bit it's only been a week <laughs> <laughs> will be well worth the, the trauma that you go through but uh, there's some bargains to be had and I think yes. as long as as one agent to another agent you, if you've got to prepare your people yes. on what this process is going to be all about I strongly recommend every agent go out and buy a short sale and yes. see what yeah. it's see what it's like see what it, it entails because you don't really know you know mm -hmm. you always hear it you don't know anything until you've experienced it how true know? on this one and and i was very glad that you got involved mm -hmm. in it i was i was proud of the way you handled it you did a very good job of uh of um seeing value it. And lots but of tongues i i think <laughs> i think that the, where a lot of agents um, seem to fail their client is the fact that they don't stay in touch with them. Well, it, it, if somebody had told, and just like us, I mean, we had this whole checklist of timelines and this isn't right. going to happen for those don't even ask, you know. Right. But still, even even knowing what it was that was going to happen, it's completely different on the other side. Well, because paperwork changes mm -hmm. as you go. Oh yes, as yes. you go, it changes. And and I I personally believe that I try to I do I only do short sales mm -hmm. and as many as I can do I take them on because um, there's no end to the education. No. Um, and to prepare, try, trying to constantly deal with a different bank so you understand what each bank is requiring because they have mm -hmm. their own guidelines. Right. There's there's right. a parameter to follow, but there are no real strong rules and regulations mm -hmm. to a short sale. 52 days from in, start to finish. I didn't think that was too bad. That's great. That, that's 52 a, days that's a start to finish. That good timeline. Good timeline. How, how are we looking on short sales for year to date? For year to date, we are at eight. And uh, only two for the for the week, uh, or two were cash. Two were cash. So twenty five percent. Yeah, but at, at that, I mean, I'm glad to see that. To mm -hmm. be really honest with you, because the cash buyers are the ones real that are beating are the market down. You know, that's yeah. we're still in that right. uh, lower range, ninety one dollars a square foot. Mm -hmm. So that's that's not exciting mm -hmm. but that just tells you there are still opportunities mm -hmm. out there um, if you have the patience for it mm -hmm. um, as a buyer and and uh, always be prepared that it's going to take anywhere from two to three months right uh, in the process at the same time uh, it could fall out I yeah. just lost one a couple of days ago simply because there they weren't as expedient as they should have been mm -hmm. so it went into foreclosure uh, or it's within here's the new glitch in the uh, in the short sale line is the fact that they will drag you on and drag you on and drag you on and then all of a sudden you get your negotiator after you've done the paperwork mm -hmm. guy and I mean cross a T dot an I right down to it took five days 
to get a turnaround on one letter that was missing in the HUD one. You can't miss anything. You can't it's miss got, a thing. All so gotta be there. Every detail mm -hmm. has to be in there. Don't assume you can get by without putting any information in. The information they request is what's going to speed your process up. Right. So this went on and on and on and on, and I lost uh, 26 days in this deal. Uh, debating with people over in India ah. that um, so oh, the that clients, oh yes, the, the one in the desert. And so, until you've got an approved short sale, the foreclosure process doesn't stop. That right. dual processing exactly. law doesn't kick in. Exactly. And the problem with this was as soon as I finally got a negotiator after the paper guy, the negotiator canceled it, uh, uh, refused oh. it uh, in one day. Oh. Oh. So you spend two months putting the deal together only to be turned down in one day. Mm. That's it. That's all the time we have for this week. Tune in next week. We're going to start doing something a little bit different, focusing on the different, uh, what is it? one of the fellows here calls them the boroughs Yes. Uh, of Big Bear, uh, the different areas. There's some diff very different neighborhoods and giving you in-depth data on that individual neighborhood and yes. keeping you up to date on everything. And I am Dan Bathurst with Exit Realty. And I'm John Wells with Exit Realty. And uh, you can reach either one of us at 909-878-0522. Um, or you can get a hold of John at his email at uh, 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 John at BigBearExit.com. <laughs> and you can reach Dan at uh, Daniel. Daniel at ExitRealityBigBear.com. And you can also go on uh, FindAHomeInBigBear.com for more stats and information. Lots of data. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Have a good day.